Today's video from Sharpel, we're taking a look at uh, printer problems on the XEA203 or 206 register. Um, so in this video we're looking at the till receipt printing blank. Uh, so we've got this till in the reg mode, it's working correctly, we're processing transactions, till receipt's printing out but it's printing blank. Uh, in my experience there's a couple of causes of this. Um, the first one is the wrong paper loaded. Um, so if we take a look at the roll that's in here, it fits correctly, we've loaded it and it fits, there's no problem with it jamming or anything, but it's old style um, plain till roll paper. Uh, the 203 has a thermal printer which needs um, thermal till roll paper loaded. The thermal paper has a shiny and a dull side and is heavier as well, so I can tell that this roll is thermal because it's heavier than the the other roll, the old school paper roll. What wasn't helpful is when they changed the tills over to thermal printers, um, they kept all the same sizes. Um, so your old school non-thermal till roll paper still fits in the, um, the modern tills. The other problem I've encountered is thermal paper loaded the incorrect way. So I've now put my thermal till roll in, the till's still working, Papers feed in, everything looks okay, but again, the till receipt's totally blank. This is because I've loaded the paper incorrectly. So as I've hinted at earlier, thermal till roll paper has a thermal heat sensitive side, um, and then also a dull non-heat sensitive side. So if I take this till roll out, you can see this side is the thermal side. It's glossy, if you rub your fingernail over it, you may get a dark mark appear. Um, whereas the other side is just like normal till roll paper. So you must load it so that the thermal shiny side is facing down. Close the platen arm over. Roll back through the receipt slot. And then when we process this transaction, we'll get some print appear because we've got the correct paper loaded the correct way around. Okay, I hope that video has been helpful. We've got plenty more videos. Um, some of which will be appearing on screen now, showing you how to get the best out of the XCA203 and other sharp cash registers, so you're welcome to check those out. You can also subscribe to this YouTube channel or visit sharphelp.co.uk for more. Thanks for watching.